AMD versus Intel has been a long-standing fight in the gaming PC industry. And AMD actually had upper hand for a while in there. One thing not many people have spoken about is whether or not AMD dominance made it to business and office PC industry. So today we will attempt to take a look at it. To do so, we have an Intel-based machine as well as an AMD-based machine in our hand. We will run them through some popular benchmarking processes like Geekbench, which claims to use practical everyday scenarios and datasets to measure performance. We will also run PC Mark 10, which focuses on modern office activities. While being run, you can actually see it is running the PC through a set of activities one might do in a modern office on day-to-day -day basis. While at it, we will also throw in some Cinebench benchmark as well. Cinebench actually stresses the CPU far more than Geekbench, might give you an idea about which one is better under stress. To make the comparison, we have two Lenovo Micro Form Factor PCs from the same generation with same design, same model, same SSD, and same RAM configuration. Let's draw a comparison table. On the Intel side, we have Intel Core i5 11th generation 11400T. On the AMD side, we have Ryzen 3 5350GE. In terms of core and threads count, Intel has more, and for many, that is what they will care about. But if you bear with us, you will see how more cores, at least on this occasion, could not save Intel. Moving on to fabrication, AMD has upper hand with their 7 nanometers process, while Intel's still sitting at older 14 nanometers process. And that could potentially make a huge difference. This huge disparity continues with base frequency, where AMD has 1.7 times higher frequency. Similar story with Turbo, Intel is behind by 14%. Same also applies to graphics frequency. And it is time to see how all of that converts to real-world use. We started with running Geekbench on AMD version. Notice how CPU frequency at times was higher than advertised 4.20 GHz. And also, it consistently managed to remain high almost throughout. We have 1764 single and 5651 multi-core. On the Intel version, it did not even reach the advertised speed of 3.70 GHz and fluctuated a lot. We have 1641 single and 5646 multi-core. That makes it MD 7% faster than Intel, while it's not a big number despite having less cores. Thanks to having other better features, AMD managed to beat Intel. Multi-core here can be called a draw. The disparity continues in Cinebench too. Only it gets worse for Intel. As I mentioned earlier, Cinebench actually pushes the machine to the limit. We cannot ignore the implication under load. Yet again, Intel left in the dust with 19% faster single core and 5% faster multi core. We hope Intel can catch up in the last one, the PC Mark 10. For those planning to use the machine for office, businesses, school, or college, this is one of the most important comparison because this is a very office focused test. Our AMD based PC, as you can see here. Did average score of 5,947? Meanwhile, the Intel version. Very disappointingly scored 4,066. Those who are interested in score breakdown, here it is. App startup for those impatient folks. AMD is whooping 39% faster. Given the fact that they both have same SSD, I guess we owe it to the processor. At video conferencing and web browsing, AMD is faster again by at least 12%. Now you have to applaud AMD in number crunching.
an unbelievable 139% lead. At this point, announcing AMD win is getting boring. It appears that if you want to type faster, you should get an MD. If you like editing your holiday photos or videos or your cat doing funny stuff, AMD is far better choice too. Enough about power and speed, let's talk thermal and power consumption. In terms of temperature, at idle state, you can see Intel is hotter than AMD. With the idle CPU power draw, AMD also stays on lower side compared to Intel. Once we load Cinebench, which stresses the CPU, we see an obvious spike in temperature. But there was a clear pattern of AMD having ever so slightly higher temperature, but that's less than 5 degrees Celsius. If that negligible 5 degree gives me 19% higher score, I think it is an excellent trade. On the power consumption side too, AMD did draw 5 to 10 watt extra at peak again. I would actually credit AMD for having power when needed. One interesting thing I noticed is that AMD fans span faster than Intel while stress was at peak. But air coming out of it felt cooler. While Intel fans span at lower RPM, but air coming out was hot. This leads me to believe AMD system had better heat dissipation than Intel. They let the fans spin to keep the temperature low. With Intel version while it was quieter, I don't think letting the CPU toast is a great idea. I'm pretty sure score would have been higher if the fan was working harder. Now all said and done, I am sitting here and wondering, why is that a better machine is not more expensive? As a matter of fact, the better machine is cheaper. Almost 30% cheaper. Is it because no one talks about it so customers are unaware? In my days, I have seen plenty of good products not getting recognition because of poor marketing. Or is there something sinister going on where OEMs deliberately dropping AMD? Let me know what your thoughts are. Please subscribe and have a great day.